the fuck is this? Okay, what the fuck is this game? What, and why can I go full screen for it? I wish I could. Okay, new game. Red water. Red water in the room. The floor sags, the walls tremble. The smell of rust, the smell of iron, the smell when you get slapped in the face. Clean white sheet. Red hands. What the fuck? Hands, 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 hands. Hey. What? Oh, hey, okay. Red water touches the skin. Wiping it with a sheet leaves a mark. Disgusting. It's not going away. Rub harder. Again, 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 and again. The skin peels and blood oozes. Is this my blood or the red water? <clears throat> red water solidifies. It becomes... Wait. The red water solidifies. It takes a shape. It forms a pattern. It gets defined. Acquires a name. It becomes a story. Ugly thin tubes protrude, ribs line up, red water drips and runs on the round head, and you become you. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Are you listening? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Well, I always do this. Even when I'm talking to someone, uh, my mind goes somewhere else. I don't mean to, I'm sorry. Oh shit, now I gotta answer. Uh, you did it, did you did it, did it to you, you did it to you? You did it, did to you. It's a, it, it is a lie, why? You did it, didn't you? No, I haven't done anything, please believe me, officer. I don't know anything, I don't even know why you brought me here. Please, please let me go home. Colonel. We received a new report, I'll read it out. Her name is Okoze Isana, resides in something city, something prefecture. Unemployed, lives alone, no martial history. Highest education level is high school graduation. Talk of, today, about 3.30, we received a report at Hotel Hebi Onashi in Kase Town. When, when the police arrived, there were bodies of two men. The, sus, the suspect, Okoze, holding a handsaw, was standing in between them. The cause of death for the two men was traumatic shock from multiple con constitutions and asphyxi asphyxiation, respectively. The identity of the bodies is unknown. Their skin is peeled off all over. Finger fingerprints are burned, teeth are shattered, and no wallet or phone was found. Fingerprints from three individuals were found at the hotel, and one of them matches those suspect Okoze. <clears throat> Almost certainly, the investigation team believes that suspect Okoze is the perpetrator of dismemberment murder. Colonel, your task is to extract motive and modus operandi from her. So I'm interrogating her? This case has received high media attention and is likely to influence the military's evaluation. We receive orders from the higher-ups to make sure it's accomplished, Colonel. Do you want to go for a drink after this? What the fuck, Roger? Colonel, may I just ask this before starting the interrogation? What? Why are you here? Who really are you? What is your purpose for being here? Morning turns to afternoon, and eventually the world is swallowed by night. As we look at the stars through the thin window glass. Oh my god. 
Why can't we choose to die right now? What the fuck is this game? Jesus Christ. That's all, Colonel. Please disregard it as a mere AI chatter. Is that AI game? Fuck. Officer, may I? I didn't do anything. I was just minding my own business. Breathing in and out, eating and vomiting, laughing and crying, getting hit, that's all. Life isn't perfect, that's for sure, but... Not as bad as having to, having to be somewhere like this. Should I do capture cursor? Yeah. Now, let's begin the tutorial for the game. Or let me let me resize it, actually. Whoops. Let me make it, like, up to here. Okay, see, wait, let me see if it looks good. I don't want to fuck it up. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I just don't want to fuck up the... Oh, shit! It actually, like, pays attention to, like, if it's full screen or not. Wait, what? Can I alt enter it? I can't. I can't go full screen in this game. It sucks. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got an idea. Let me do this instead. I just want to make it like, you know, nice. Okay, hold on. Before I continue, let me just fit the screen and stretch the screen. There you go. Wait. Does it even matter the FPS? I don't know here. Reset. Fit to screen. Stretch to screen. Ah, right, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Actually, no, 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 no. no. I want to fix this. I don't. Like, I don't like the borders. And who gives a fuck? Or. No, no, no. Whatever. You must answer them. That is the objective of this game. Your task is to answer her questions. There, okay. There is no wrong or right answer. Answering her questions is the goal in itself. Uh, to reach that answer, the following methods are recommended. One, interrogate. Imagine the reasons. Imagine the outcome. Who is she? Who was killed? Why was the murder committed? What kind of person is she? Why are you interrogating her? What is the what is this world? Why are you in such a place? This world is terribly multi multi-faced and distorted facts. You might think that there's no meaning here and there's no and there are only random and meaningless sequences of characters, but even then, please don't stop imagining. As long as if you continue to imagine, the world should continue to have meaning, true. Apart from that, there's nothing you can do in this game. Oh, there's nothing you can do in this game. Oh, apart from that. Uh, that concludes the tutorial. Okay, so the keyword's imagining. Are you ready? Well then, let's begin the interrogation. Okay. Phase one. Uh, what's wrong, officer? Is there something on my face? So, what should I talk about? Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Why did you kill those men? Why were you in that hotel? Oh shit. Okay, how do I how do I ask this properly? Um Yo, wait, wait, hold up. I wanna fix this shit, man. Ah! I don't like having the stupid thing, dude. The stupid like white line. I'm cropping it out. I fucking hate that shit. Sorry. Wait, is it gone? Wait, the woman's gone, I'll just stop. There, it's gone, okay. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I want to do. I don't even know what to, what to say. Why were you in that hotel? Okay, okay, we have to answer honestly. Why, why did you kill those men? Why? Do you ask something like that? You skip or play, don't you, officer? I haven't killed anyone. You liar! Let's just say hypothetically, if I were to kill them and ask why, probably couldn't forgive them. Their resist, their resistances. I probably couldn't forgive their existences, even if I meant wasting my wonderful life. Killing someone else is like killing yourself, isn't it? 
do you know a killer can never be happy ever otherwise wouldn't that be unfair when you kill someone you kill yourself too those who try to harm others can only fall into hell and suffer for eternity human humans are like that oh shit aware you have obtained the information girl who believes in hell This room feels really dark, doesn't it? I wonder why. It feels very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm a, I'm about to remember something unpleasant. Okay, here we go. What is your weapon? Are you acting alone? Not gonna do. What is your weapon? The weapon? You have to investigate even such trivial things, huh? Being an officer must be tough. Or is that you're into that sort of thing? Don't give me that don't give me that look like that couldn't possibly be true okay i don't know the world is vast you know well if you didn't know anything why are you still talking about it you should be more distraught actually maybe she's innocent because she keeps talking about like random shit <laughs> i'm kind of mean you see in conversations i tend to start with uh negation most of the time so even back then i must have denied it but what was the response, I wonder? Well, never mind. More importantly, the weapon, was it? I'm weak, you see. If I, if a man were to overpower me, I'd definitely lose. I'm not really athletic either. I've always slowed down my team on sports days. The girls in my class really hated me for it. So if I kill, so if someone like me were to ever want to kill someone, the only option would to be to sneak on them while they're asleep and vulnerable, right? That's why That's why any weapon would do, right? As long as it is, it's quick and ensure a kill. And if, I, if you were determined enough, whether it's a knife, a hammer, an ashtray, a cestus, a glock, a missile, a candlestick, an empty bottle, or just fists, anything goes, is there a problem? That's not how it works. That's not an answer. It's hard. I can't get used to it. What the fuck? You have obtained information, resolution, and will. Why is that FPS like fuck? I think they do it on purpose. I'm scared. Uh, phase three, liar. I didn't kill anyone. How can I get you to believe me? I'm unemployed and just play games all day. I'm a shut-in with zero muscles, and I can't even assemble IKEA furniture. I couldn't possibly dismember a man. Okay, here we go. Uh, why did you hold a hand? So how are we supposed to know that? Why did you dismembered? Why why did you dismembered them? Okay, this is this is just. Okay, if I'm already deep into this, then like it doesn't matter like holding the hands all that. I just literally just do that. Just press her, bro. Oh my God, this art. Hehe, <laughs> don't you know? As a method to cover up a crime, dismembering the body is a very rational approach. Human bodies are bigger than you think. They're harder to carry around and won't fit in garbage bags. When you say chopped up body, you tend to focus on the gruesome aspect. But it's a, it is a clever method. You remember, a chopped up body was found in Inokashi Inokashira Park, right? A long time ago, maybe even that was a rational attempt. It just ended up like, well due to a poor execution. I'm too dumb to do something like that, though. Oh, sir, have you ever thought about it? What to do after killing someone? Hey, <laughs> hey, what's with the face? Surprised? Do you perhaps think you would never kill someone? Why? Because you're not a bad person? So you're saying only bad people can become crim criminals? So you're saying that someone who's kind to others lives peacefully and smiles like a regular person would never make a mistake? You have so much faith in God. Our thoughts are just a series of nerves firing and hormonal hormonal imbalances as we age. We deteriorate, and depending on the circumstance, we can make mistakes. I trust it even less than a self-driving car. Do you think that's because I dislike people? Strictly speaking, I don't dislike people. I dislike myself. One of my characteristics is being a member of the human race. So I just hate that aspect. Sounds dumb, doesn't it? But I don't know. I must be wrong. I always am. Real. Uh, 
you have tinned information hating you more than anyone else. It, it's called it was a human because I wonder why actually I thought I had a theory Hey, Ossifer, can I ask you a question too? What? Where exactly are we? Why are you investigating a murder case? Isn't that usually a police job? Is there something you're hiding from me? What the fuck? You're not going to answer are you? It feels weird being interrogated. I'm just answering your questions. Your expression, tone, gaze, and responses clearly tell me what kind of person- Oh, yo, empath? It's hard to tell who's I'm interrogating whom. Or, maybe it's the opposite. I'm smiling like normally. That face you make when you look at me, and your eyes. It's like you're itching to kill me, like a stray dog abandoned in hell. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. May you, may you always- Did, did I just- Did I speed run the game? Oh my god, what the fuck? Never mind. I'm getting hungry. We've been trapped here for half a day already. Oh, interlude, okay. The last thing I ate was a sandwich. It was a mistake. There was a cucumber there was cucumber in the egg sandwich. I like cucumbers. They're so refreshing. Eggs are great too. They're soft and fluffy. But when you put them together, it's the worst. Whoever came up with that must have had a grudge against humanity, right? The softness of uh, the eggs disappears, and the cucumber's grassy flavor becomes too prominent. It's unfortunate that they ever met. That happens sometimes, you know? Sorry, just talking about food just made me even hungrier. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Hold on a little longer. Connell, she's still a suspect. We have an obligation to treat her humanly. Shall we send some food in? Okay, human pasta. Oh, I ate pasta yesterday, choose that. Oh, it's here, I'm so hungry. Okay, bon appetit. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. Why are you staring at me intently, officer? With a face that can't hide of that can't hide a faint sexual excitement tinged with sadistic joy and a hint of delight in my humiliation are you happy to see me eat chewing with the upper and lower jaw swallowing with a pink throat smoothly passing through my esophagus and slowly dis yo this is fucking weird oh my god the me <laughs> What the fuck am I reading? <laughs> Yo, what the hell is this? Is that something to be happy about? Oh my god. What the hell am I playing? This game just came out, so I, I, I don't know. I'm like one of the first people to play this. Hurry up with that. No. You have no right to refute. What the fuck? I wanna... Yo, you can't say that. It's fuck. Okay, whatever. Wait, can I skip that? Whatever. No other choice. Wait, wait. Maybe it's questioning me. Do you want to get punched by me again? Yo, yo, what the hell is this like image supposed to say? This is like the voices or some shit? What the fuck? Yo. Nah. What the? What does this accomplish? What changes with this? Are you? Oh my god. Even if illuminated by the sunlight, we can never become the moon. We cannot escape from once being human. Forever. By yourself. Buried. Until the end. So please, even if just one person, I need someone that will never give up on me. That was really good. Thank you for the meal. It was a lovely lunch. And when I'm full, I get tired. I assume I can't nap, can I? After interrogation then. What the fuck does this lead up to? Ah, it was a short but enjoyable lunch. I hope we can have lunch together again sometime. That's weird. Phase 4. Excuse me for interrupting you, Colonel. The Senate is calling you. Please come to the Insect Memorial Tower immediately. Yeah, she's gonna escape, bro. I don't know, Colonel. 
I'll be right there. Huh? Are you going somewhere, Ossifer? Okay, I'll wait for you. Don't worry. I'll be a... Okay, dude. See ya. Catwalk, a corridor that military personnel must pass through when going out into the city. It's so clean that it's a bit scary. A boundary between something and something else. Damn. Monacus. What the fuck is this? Good afternoon, Colonel. Who are you? You don't even know that anymore, do you? Who am who I am doesn't matter, Colonel. Take a good look around. Does this look like somewhere you should be? Were there street lights lined up on the pitch black streets? Did the White Queen give you treacherous sweets? What about the noble lion? Where is the proud knight of the mice? Why are you even here? You would never wish for a world like this. You who love the world and believe in adventure. Who are you? Oh shit, there's nothing good left anymore. My condolences. Balloon Street, the bustling streets of the city. Strange buildings line up along the way. There aren't many people walking, but for some reason, it feels oddly lively. Who the hell is this? Oh, what the heck? What's going on here? Well, well, I'm ecstatic to see you here, King. Right now, was it the Kano that we addressed you as? I apologize for my foolish nature. Whatever, I'm told three minutes ago, I forget after two minutes. Oh my god, I fucked up! Whatever. Haha, it's a good one, very well. What is home? What is home? Does it really exist? Don't you think that's an abnormal delusion? Do you really know where here is anyways? What is this place? This is Venus, Earth's neighbor. A hellish valley where broken ones break each other until they're exhausted. Just kidding. This is the old street of something something. Well, who knows if that's really true. Where is this? Nobody in the world knows the answer. That's just the way it is. Are you going to Insect Memorial Tower from here? Oh, you've been summoned by the Clock Cardinal of the Senate. He's quite an intriguing character. Hmm. Fair, well, I have to go. Well, that'll give me, give me one last piece of advice. Don't forget this. You're not the kind of person to blame everything on, on someone else and run away, or to sink yourself in the sweet despair and fall asleep like a coward. Facing sorrow, not turning away from from pain, swimming swimming in dark loneliness, yet still gazing up at the brilliant sky. A person with with strength to fight, who believed in love and courage. Please never forget that. Farewell, my king. Safe travels. Here, here may be the worst place, but it's surely enjoyable. Dem. Insect Memorial Tower, a tower erected, nation, erected nationwide during the Edo period for the memorial service of agriculture. Many believers gathered to pray for the demise of those who harm humans. At the top of this long staircase, the clock cardinal should be waiting. Frankly, it's quite challenging. Praise the the death of rats, the suffering of pests, the end of our enemies. Foul fleeting creatures, you should have died, you should have never been born. May there be mercy for their souls, may there be a peace, may there be a peaceful eternal darkness. Oh my god, it's like the guild war. What the fuck is this retarded shit? Oh my god. As a foreign matter, I can't make the judgment alone at the same time. Bro, I literally don't give a fuck about this. Do you remember the beginning of the world? This world was made suddenly. If my clock is correct, this world began- Okay, you know what? I'm tired of the yapping. Until then, I'm gonna give me a letter I remember. Primordial world driven by someone's wish. I already told me there's me, clock cardinal. There's no connection. Until the world began, this world didn't exist! Where in the world are we? Who are these people? 
The only thing I remember, this is reality. From what I hear, my memory is vague. A creature like rabbit. Fulfilled someone's wish, acting like an angel. Can you remember that? That rabbit. The girl who dragged out our story like pulling out intestines. Uh, no. I see, I thought you played him. No, I don't. I don't care. In this world, I feel like you ha I feel like you have an important role. Probably, but we can't change anything. Perhaps we're bound by print constraints. You, only you can change this world. Or, perhaps you're nothing but a roulette wheel. <gasps> or even that is. Perhaps the root cause of this anomaly lies with the damn annoying Kula. In this land, mo such a massive crossing of realities. What happened? Why it happened? Up to that point, I really have no idea. <clears throat> I am an elder, a presence of the past, something fading out of observer, a bearer of wisdom. Call if I recall, your mission was to inter interrogate a murderer. Yes, are you enjoying your conversation? It's a torment. Ah, nah, it's a torment. I don't like talking. See, why do you think of that? I, I somehow understand that girl is... No, I'm sorry. That girl is probably something I shouldn't be meddling in. A bad habit of an old man. Thank you for coming all the way here. The business concludes. You may leave now. Be careful of your way home. I like you literally could not give a single fuck. Someone's wish. Introspective. Okay, go back to the fucking interrogation room. I don't give a fuck about what that motherfucker was saying. Get straight to the goddamn point. Oh, change like the scenery. That's kind of cool. You return home due to exhaustion. Your body feels heavy as mud. Go to sleep. Take a smoke. Smoke. A look outside. This, no, this this art's sick. You look like the sea is not. I don't want to keep reading. I don't give a fuck. Why are you here? As your gaze at the window, it expresses a reflex on it. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? It's time to sleep. Yes. Go to bed. May I receive a gentle hug, even just in a dream? Okay, now. What the fuck is this? <clears throat> Did I pick up the phone? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, I have to replay that. I'm gonna watch that when I upload on YouTube, bro. What the fuck? Oh, what's wrong, officer? You seem like you're about to cry. Did somebody bully you or something? Shut up! I would say this. Hey, <laughs> don't look so angry. Anyway, shall we continue our interrogation game? You have something to ask. Until you do that, it won't end, will it? Or you don't want this to end. For what reason? What was the reason? Let's be quick. Let's be quick. I'm, in, I'm actually impatient. You're like getting hurt until you're worn out. I'm gonna speed on this. Why on earth why do you want to reach the truth? Don't you hate lukewarm water that much? I don't particularly dislike talking to you. It's much easier than facing the real pain. Do you still want to interrogate? I see your brain. That's right, because you're. All right then, shall I continue with the interrogation? You want to show some- Oh fuck! Oh, I was about to say, I'm like, yo, is it like repetitive? Holy shit. Oh damn, we're getting straight to the point, nice. Do you have an alibi for last night? Have you ever wanted to kill someone? Yeah, wait, well, of course I have. Everyone has, right? Might not the same way, of course. There's no way if not everyone has thought of it. If, if there's anyone who says they've never felt that way even once, I wouldn't forgive that person. Who do you want to kill? I'm asking about that. I guess, I guess it can't be. Let me lower the volume, I think like it's loud. I guess it can be helped since an interrogation, but I think it's worse than asking about the first time you had. Huh? Do I really have to tell you? Of course. No, no. I've never told a lie. Everything I said is true. That's why I'm saying if I answer your question, how I should put it, I'll end up really victimized. I still have to talk about it. Well, I guess so. Me. 
The only one I want. That's crazy. The only one I want to kill is me. Me. In all caps. Holy shit. In the shitty excuse of a life. I've never wanted to kill anyone other than myself. Everyone's so beautiful, aren't they? It's not about being smart or athletic or kind or anything like that. Just, just being able to do ordinary things normally. That's a very beautiful thing. Actually, you know, special people aren't really that great, like celebrities or artists or people called heroes or saints. Maybe YouTubers. Oh shit, you're breaking the fourth wall. Actually, you know, special people aren't really that great. Like celebrities, artists, or people called heroes or saints, or nowadays, maybe YouTubers would be more a relatable example. Those people are just desperately trying to be loved. Because they weren't loved by anyone, they're screaming and crying desperately until their throats are parched. That's kind of cute and truly beautiful though. Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So-called ordinary people. I find that term repulsive, but people who live terribly, people who live as terribly beautiful human beings, quietly gazing at every dayness here without screaming or going mad to obtain love as humans. I think there's nothing more beautiful than that. I, I wanted to be someone like that. That's why I wanted to kill myself. This stupid, inadequate, foolish, miserable, filthy human being. A dirty piece of garbage mixed in amongst so many beautiful things. It's obviously better if some if there's some Oh why is some? It's obviously better if there's nothing like that, right? Aha, I told you then I there's nothing interesting about hearing this kind of stuff, right? Of course not. Your heart can't understand this. This is my own feeling after all. So officer. I haven't admitted to any crime, and I haven't committed to any serial murders either. But I wouldn't mind at all if you sentenced me to death, bro. Wait, why is this character like me? I'm just kidding. You obtain information, she never tells lies. Oh my god, Wait, it's getting interesting now. I'm not bad for a $5 game. I thought it was going to be like 20 bucks. You don't have to tidy up so meticulously. Are you just neat or are you pathologically kind? Oh shit. Seriously, why would you do something like this for me? I don't get it. I guess that's right. You're a kind person, aren't you? I like people like that. Should I do something in return? What? Why would you say something like that? I don't get it. I just always want to be smiling. I just don't want to feel sad. Really? Is my smile really that creepy? Huh? Really? I don't know. This is the first time anyone said that said something like that to me. But but I'm happy. I'm I'm happy. Okay. Do you maybe like me? You talk weird. You use lots of big words. I don't understand what you're saying at all. And you look like you're always thinking about sad things. Yeah. And you're still happy. Why can't you say that so confidently? It's not. It's not a lie. Is it true? Won't someone get angry? I might want to know more about you. Hey, can we maybe meet again sometime? I'll do anything you want, so. Huh? Is that enough? Oh my god, what the hell? He's giving me a headache. <clears throat> sure, I'll ask me anything. This is like Doki Doki Lushko was interrogating Monica, bro. I'll answer. I'll tell you whatever you want to know about. I'm not very smart, so I might I might not be good at talking. I'll do my best, okay? Why is that a different text? Who, who am I talking to? It was a different text. I was talking to somebody else. What are you looking at? I was looking at your face, Ossifer. You're mysterious, you know? When I look at you straight on, you don't change. And when I look, I change the angle just a little. You look like a completely different person. Have you ever thought about who you are? See, I'm obvious, right? The reason I'm here in this situation, this position. It's cynical and disgusting, isn't it? Ossifer, who are you? Sorry for saying strange stuff out of blue. Okay, another interrogation. <clears throat> what were you like as a child? Why did you skin them? These are some shitty questions, I'll be honest. Like, the fuck? Why did you skin them? I'm gonna ask this question. Skin? Oh yeah, that's right. It was written in the report. Two victims were dismembered and skinned. Poor guys. But don't you think like this too? They must have been doing something, done something that's bad. They must have done really, 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 really bad things. And coming them, it's kind of been off. They must have been incredibly hated. 
officer, what do you think is the worst thing a person can do? I think, hmm, I wonder the worst thing a person can do. Uh, the worst thing a person can do, I'm sure different people completely have different answers. Well, but I'm not exactly a fine human being can, criti cri can criticize others' actions. I don't know enough enough about life, the world, or the universe to call me to say that something else's decision, someone else's decision is wrong. Real. This is just hypothetical, but if this if this universe were just wretched, was just a wretched prison for souls, and when you die, you're released from all suffering and go to the greatest heaven. Wouldn't our lives just be a pointless waste of time? Or what if the real sin and the real bad thing was just living itself? <clears throat> should we should we jump off a building's rooftop right now? <gasps> And of course, that's completely unthinkable. I hate religion after all. This is just a meaningless, meaningless, meaningless thought experiment. Hmm. I guess I'm not just good at deciding what's wrong. If an important person says it loudy, loudly, I'll just nod and agree with everything. Oh, I'm sorry. I've derailed the conversation again, haven't I? That's one of my bad habits. I can't seem to focus on one thing. Why did I skin them, right? Probably I was desperate. Desperately, something, the residues, trying to pick them up with anger, madness, and extreme obsession. Well, it's just speculation after all, because I haven't killed anyone. You obtain information, evidence of obsession. I mean, who even knows at the end of the day, man, right? Who even knows? Sigh, huh? No, it's nothing at all. I'm not tired. I'm not bored either. Talking to you is fun. But you know, you keep asking all these questions like an interrogation about my childhood and stuff or my dreams or the future, things that don't matter. At first I thought, oh, maybe this person's interested in me, but now I'm just starting to feel different. How can you say such mean things so bluntly? Yeah, you definitely don't have many friends, do you? There's nothing you can do. You're so unsociable, so cold. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, didn't I? I didn't mean to. Why are you laughing? Because what else can you do? I just don't know how to do it. This is my first time actually talking about something like this. What? It's no, not at all. Please don't look at me like that. How can you stay so cool? I'm just, I'm just dumb. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah, really? You really like humans, don't you? I, I hate them. Us. Because everyone's mean. Dogs and cats, they're kind. Maybe because they're dumb, but still. Even the mean side of humans. Do you like that about us? You're weird. I want to be like you too. If I if I could like everyone like everyone like that, it would. It sounds like it would be fun. No, but why? Can I only be myself? Why do you keep saying such sad things? Be nicer, like on TV. <sighs> yeah, because I hate myself. I'm dumb. I can't do anything. I'm terrible at talking. I'm worthless, right? So please say those things more nicely. Look at me in the eyes. Think about my feelings. How can you say stuff like that? Like it's nothing. Thank you, I'm really happy. Really, 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 really happy. Haha, I get it. You can only say what you think, huh? That's not that you can't say it, you choose not to. That's your decision. Isn't that tough? Weird, isn't it? But you know, um, uh, if things ever get really tough and you feel like you can't go on anymore, call out to me. I'm an idiot and can't do much, but being there for you, at least that much I can do. Is that okay? Sure. Got it then. Then it's a promise. Why does it always go to black and it's like a different text? Like, I don't even know who I'm talking to. Well, I do like to chat. Okay, whatever. I've been sitting here for so long, my body feels stiff as a board. After the next question, how about we chat while taking a stroll somewhere? We continue the interrogation. Whatever. Oh, no. No, you can't. Uh, what is your dream? Let's see now. This is a good question There's an anime on Sunday evenings, right? Hell yeah, it's well, yeah, it's fun to watch, but it somehow leaves you feeling melancholic That was my dream Every every day is bustling even if there's uh, there are mishaps They're resolved within 30 minutes and by evening the family gathers around the dinner table for a happy ending never-ending daily life immutable immutable universality 
a gentle purgatory, a world without growth, and a universe that denies its end. I wonder if you wish for that to the genie of the lamp, how they grant it, distorted. Would it become distorted? What would happen? As a child, I used to watch it thinking it was normal. Officer, do you know the shape of the world? The universe is nothing but a sequence of molecules. The, the increase of entropy is just molecules moving a bit. With me here and you here, there's a chair, a desk, and a room. This is because our eye resolution is low, so we perceive things roughly. If, if our eyes could see the world accurately, the world is nothing but a sequence of extremely small points. The shape of the world remains unchanged between yesterday and today. Just a sequence of points. Never ending daily life. Immutable universality. A journal point. Bro, she literally said that before. In truth, not a single thing in the world has changed, yet we still stop and look back. We, we cry over the world that nothing has changed beyond recognition. My dream, my dream, my dream? I just want to be happy, base. I just don't know how to do it. Yep, so that's really the dream. That's my dream too. That's my dream. I just want to be happy. I'm just trying to be rude. I'm just trying to be happy. Next. I don't really see it that way though. You often call yourself dumb or helpless, perhaps as a form of self-defense. Or maybe because people around you have said that. Actually, I think you're, you're smart. I'm just stating the facts. Why do you look at me like that? You often say that. There's no such thing as a weak person. They're trying to adapt to their environment. The kind of strong people you talk about, I actually think they seem quite burdened. The lion, the world's best hunter, is on the brink of extinction, while the rabbit, with only its speed, thrives. Damn. Your weakness, I think, is really beautiful. That humility, that timidity, the it's one of humanity shines. I think it's questionable to, to only praise courage and kindness. Or if you insist that you're not smart, that's fine too. But that stupid stupidity what was still a means to adapt to the environment. It's the weapon you've chosen to survive in this tough world. Hey, aren't humans truly beautiful creatures? Each wielding weapons of vastly different and complex emotions, facing this terrifying society with bravery and determination. Just like heroes in the stories, there's no other creatures like humans. It's like frightening out like, bro, stop yapping. Like okay, at this point they're fucking talking too much, like shut up. It's like Monica all over again, bro. All roads lead to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm very pessimistic. Maybe I'm despairing in the world. After all these worlds of living, I can't get a clear answer as to why I'm not dead yet. Then kill yourself then! GTA. Not the hope, like, oh my god. I'm searching for a true hope. Okay, man, like, shit. If my purpose is, be is being happy, let me speedrun this game and just not play this shit anymore. Holy fuck, bro. Love? I'm <laughs> not bad. That's interesting. You know, something I haven't considered. I don't know. I'm going to be in I'm going to be in Alright, I'm done. Bro, just get to, like, the scary part, bro. Like, the whole point is to fucking, like, get scared. Like, I don't care anymore. We've been chatting for quite a bit, haven't we? It's getting late. Yes, thank you. Go to sleep. Why are you staring me with such resentful eyes? Oh, God. I'm going to get a flashbang. I'm going to get jump scared. Never mind. Why are you crying? Oh, what? I'm not crying, really. Shut up. I feel like I remembered something nostalgic. Me. Have we met before? Probably remembering the same thing as you. No, this is a, this is a better answer. We are what? I can't help but laugh. You're a really unstable being, aren't you? You're struggling to define who you are. Do you have regrets? You're truly dumb. Well, but yeah. If I ever really to wish for that, then I don't really mind, though. Do you like the rain? Do I do I actually like the rain though? If I was to ask myself. Nah, I hate it. I see you like the sun, don't you? Warm and pleasant. Hey, what kind of person do you think I am? Oh shit! Okay, here are the real questions. A mentally unstable person dominated by narcissism. <laughs> Holy shit! A deranged. Okay, it's not a deranged murderer. A kind girl. A boring person.
That's fuck. A mentally unstable person dominated by narcissism. Bro, that's fuck. That's fuck. This is this is fucked up. You know, say that kind girl. That's fine, isn't it? A trite and boring but sweet story. I haven't committed murder. I'm just slightly mischievous. I'm probably just here because of some government conspiracy. Probably. Shall we escape from here together? If we do that, surely many pursuers will come. So shall we board from the Galactic Railroad and aim for a distant star? I hate boring endings. I need a tear-jerking ending. I want to dance until the end. But that's just a contradictory, isn't it? Because if you like those old-fashioned love romances, the creator of the world wouldn't desire such a twisted world. The interrogator and tormented can... The interrogator and the tormented and wretched woman. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's, a, it's romance now, bro. I don't know everything. You don't know either, right? I can tell something's starting to fray, though. Creator of this world was told, I will grant any one wish and wished for this world. So I'm not expecting a happy ending, but... If you truly wish for it from the bottom of your heart, hey, officer, that habit of yours hasn't changed. Tapping your fingers on the desk to keep it... Bro, why the fuck are you so specific about that? Like, the fuck is that? Are you still unaware? Do you want to think about it? Can't you remember? You really don't know who I am. You really don't know who you are. I'm... What the hell? Let me move the mouse cursor for a movie effect. Is, is it over? Oh my god. Oh my... Yo, these are like graphic images, bro. I mean, it's, it's sick art, though. What was AI generated? I got baited. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm actually getting scared. I hate, like, this noise. I'm your what? What was I to you? I don't remember anymore. I don't remember anything anymore. What I last remember is... Ah, yes. My wish has been granted. Wish. My wish has been granted. Just like a magic lamp, a wish hidden deep in the heart, one that I don't want to show anymore. Okay, remember the first in the beginning is imagining, dragging out filthy entrails, exposing them. Please stop. Maybe I'm the murderer. Please don't look. Please don't show me. That's my dirtiest spot. Even I don't want to see it, but it's my core, the core of my heart, my heart, my heart, my blood forms a shape. Stands up. Oh shit, it formed like a monster. Like a mold. No one asked for it. No one allowed it. I'd have I'd have died before such a wish gets granted. I wish so hard for it to never come true. Even if that mean my death. Jump scare, jump scare. That's how much I loved you. Oh shit. Is that it? Is that the end? Excuse me for interrupting, sir. It's about time the end of the day. Oh, already? I still feel like chatting more. Will you come again tomorrow? Just kidding. That's my job of a military person. Let's play again tomorrow. Holy fuck. Damn. That's definitely left for interpretation. For sure. The quiet sound of rain strikes the eardrum with strangely loud noises. This room. I hate it here. It feels like it's going to remind me of something unpleasant. Or perhaps... Do I wish for that? Let's just go to sleep. Tomorrow will surely be another terrible day. Or at least my dreams will be gentle. You have no right to wish for something like that. Bruh. The day, that day I had a dream, a terribly nostalgic dream. It was something I can open my eyes and face directly. Yet the scene was projected onto my closed eyelids without mercy. I didn't wish for that at all. Not in the lot, not in the least. Oh God, what the hell is this? Oh my God, what is this game turned to now, man? I said, hey. What's wrong? You're spacing out. Did you have a scary dream or something? Ah, it was like that, huh? 
for you to make that kind of face, it was quite something. What the fuck? You know, because I'm kind of dumb, I don't really know how to make your fears go away. So if you have a scary dream, let's sleep together. Let's scream and cry together in the dream. I'll hold your hand the whole time. No matter what happens. Oh my god. Oh, well, isn't this a fucking... This is the dream, no? Wake up! Waking up. I kept hitting the wall in my room so hard that I felt like it would break. Looking up at the sky, the automated maintenance drones busily check the entire room. But there's not a human figure in sight, and this town is not a single thing without meaning. We have detected a foreigner. Hey officer, guess what? Today we're going on a date. What? I apologize for any miscommunication. There you are. Today we'll be conducting a psychological evaluation on suspect. Our interrogation is based on the interrogation protocol of Nicholas Chardon. In addition to observation in a closed space, observation in general is recommended. From now on, Colonel, you will accompany her and report her on social symptoms. Social symptoms? The destination will be chosen by the suspect. This is also part of a psychological evaluation process. What the fuck? Safety is assured. Please ensure her surveillance. <sighs> You're so gullible, officer. Do you really understand why you and I are going out together? I hate being outside, though, but when I was a kid, I used to skip school, and I liked going for walks. Not being where I was supposed to be, or maybe I wonder if I actually like being outside. Come to think of it, I think of it as sky and grass. I'm leaving. Well then, have a good time. May your adventure be okay. Well, I have to go. Oh, they're in the catwalk. Anyway, I can behave normally even outside. Just need to prove that I haven't committed murder, right? Huh? Isn't that how it works? In your minds, I'm pretty much already considered a murderer. So it's like observing a murderer. I know, I've seen it overseas dramas, FBI agents doing stuff like that. They call it criminal psychology. I hope today's exp experience will be useful someday. I actually like being helpful to someone. Okay. I feel like I just want to skip this. I don't really care. But you know what? I just want to be around here. I don't know. It's like bustling. Nice place. Oh my god, this is AI. The world's taking over. The world's taking over. Oh my god. It's gonna be like Terminator. Probably just a figment of my imagination. The machine's repeating blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, she talks too much. I'm, I'm about to skip this. I guess Doki Doki Lich, but like, I don't give a fuck no more. Like, I literally don't give a fuck. I'm gonna cry in the amusement park. Which one do you feel like going to? Uh, what's a better place to go to? Amusement park? I like aquarium. Aquarium is better. I like aquarium. Yeah, much better. There's no one dimly at a glare occurs. You have a favorite fish? Shut the fuck up. Okay, you know, this is a fucking interrogate. You know what? This is criminal psychology, so. A real psychologist would answer with intuition. Yes. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care if that answers, okay? A real psychologist would an would trust would trust their gut. Oh, amazing. See, I'll be honest. This is just this is just all a facade. Like they're just talking about random shit to waste my time to make me lose my mind. Like, bro, I'm sick of it. Like, I'm actually sick of it. I'm getting hungry, too. There's not even a date. This is a fucking psychoanalysis, man. You can't fool me. Wait, can I press space? Oh, you can't. You 
to, you have to click. You can't fool me. I know your antics. I'm skipping everything. I don't care about your yapping. You can't fool me. Get straight to the point. You can't fool me, brother. Oh, before that, I'm gonna go to the restroom. Why don't you go too? Let's just, let's just get to the questions. Go to the restroom or don't go. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need to go right now. I think you have to you have to answer like you're there in real life. You know, like would you go to the washroom right now? Nah. I don't care. More waffling. You didn't talk much. Uh, what's wrong? You didn't talk much. That's alright. The last place I went to stop by my monkey now. I'm doing this. I don't give a fuck. Sometimes I think these visual novels are just a facade to like. This is a filler episode, bro. Get, get, get straight to the point. So, so she asked me, Am I scared? Uh, no, I'm not. Why would I be scared? I'm not scared at all. Oh wait, this is my apartment, my beloved home. I don't care. Stop fucking around! Admit to your crimes now! Merry Christmas, this pawns from Kanger is so loud. Oh great, another oh great, another fever dream. No, I'm gonna I'm just, I'm gonna speed her to the end. It's about a year since we started like this. Bro, if I didn't do this, this game would have been like ten hours long. Said Erm. What the hell are you saying? It only matters. I, I think it only matters when you see like colored. When you see colored like letters, then you will. I would die from sadness, Monka. Oh fuck! What the hell is this? What's in my room? This messy? Shut up. Your room. Your room's always that messy. You just knew it. You're just faking it. What? Well, what? Just die already. We we confronted certain events. Did she hit herself? Why'd she hit herself, bro? This is my pride. No matter what anyone says, there are no more regrets. Shall we go back to where we belong? In the cramped and dim interrogation room? No, your room's like that because you made it like that. Go clean it! Or maybe there's a method to the madness. Hey, also, I feel something to tell before the end, even though you might not want to hear it. Uh, we should go talk. Okay, what is it? Get to the point. <gasps> See, I knew it! Those two, I killed them because I was dumb, because I was weak, because I killed those two. Why now? What do you mean? I didn't want to admit it, but I realized I couldn't look away. When I saw I ruined those, and the end is coming, I feel like he's stronger. It's me getting running away. What are you talking about? This is about this is about this world. It's a world where past and present and future are all mixed up, covered in symbols and minutes. Shut the fuck up. Why is someone horrible? Why is someone hideously ugly? Then it can't be faced directly. That's your problem, bro. I killed those two. They're the people I love the most. The people who truly love me. The people who that actually love me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What is your wish? Oh, is this something that bothers you? E, to be similar to the scary people from the telegraph thing, you might be at the potential to become one of them. Oh, am I gonna die, bro, Monka? I never expected it was this world, but honestly, what were they doing that kind of work? Remember when they came for a career at one place, good times. Okay, get to the point. What did I wish for again? Okay, what's your wish? I wonder what it was. It's hard to sum up in just one word. After all, humans are like a complex and mysterious labyrinth, and there has just been a creature capable of accurately describing them with words. But maybe, if I were to answer with my words from my perspective, punishment. Sounds cheap, doesn't it? No, or maybe this world is not enough. Well, you know, it's not just my sins or to be judged or someone to punish me. Punishment is such a thing. Whether it's the police, a king, or God, my sins are mine alone. My pain is mine alone. No one will ever tarnish that. It might be quite delightful if I were sent to the gallows, trembling in fear, screaming and crying, soiling myself with feces and urine as I'm hanged. But I can't wish for such a, wish for such a thing. A quiet curtain call, a peaceful end. That's not something I would wish for. 
or I should wish for. I'm asking her what her wish is. Ah, oh, yeah, so that's why we're inter- So she just admitted that uh, she killed two people in the beginning of the game. We we're interrogating- we're, we're basically interrogating this girl. If we found out she killed those- She skinned alive like two people or some shit, and she admitted to it. To face my own sins. You know, officer, I believe- I believe that sin isn't about actions or even outcomes. It's about one's character. <gasps> Weakness is sin. Wretchedness is sin. Foolishness is sin. I'm not really talking in general. You're just yapping. It's a rule that applies only to me. It's my own fate. But what is your wish? That's what I asked you. That's what I wish for. What? But at the same time, do you realize there is a contradiction in this world, Ossifer? This world is just a place to torment me. But it's not just that. It's vexing. I'll never forgive such things. Yo, what's she even talking about, bro? She's waffling. That's the contradiction this world holds. What what that is, I can tell you I can't tell you now. Because it's not fair. Ha he he, I'm looking forward to it. I mean you don't know if she actually did, right? Did she actually skin those two motherfuckers? Who knows? <clears throat> She's always like that, this girl. Oh, I'm just talking in third person. Always wearing a smile that seemed fake. As if flattering, as if mocking, as if seeing through. Even at this very moment, this time. Off officer, why do you think I wished for a world like this? I mean, normally, if you could have any wish granted, you wouldn't wish for a place like this. A place like this. Probably we, we can only truly wish for what we truly understand. We can't even wish for what we tr can truly imagine. In the deepest recesses of our hearts, a contradictory wish, that's all. Ah, uh, humans are such fascinating creatures, aren't we? What the fuck is she talking about? Well then, officer, shall I return to the interrogation room? After all, you need to prepare yourself, don't you? For you, let's return to the interrogation room. Shall we go? Oh, so we went out, we're in interrogation, but we went out because we have to study her. It's criminal psychology or a criminal psychological evaluation. So we have to understand who she is. It's funny, even though we're home interrogation, it feels, feels like home. Okay, what the fuck? Did you enjoy yourself? No. I literally skipped the entire dialogue because you're fucking talking too much. Oh! What happened? Yo? I think I got knocked out. Have you find- Oh, she escaped! <gasps> oh, shit! She escaped! Oh, shit! Yo, she knocked me out cold. Stole the keys. She fled far away. She probably timed for- Timed it for this moment. The moment when you entered the interrogation room and surveillance drones disappeared. The only moment when she could be free. She's strong and smart. What should I do? That's not for me to decide. You'll- You'll make the decision. I- I'll assist you with that. I've done so until now. Calm though, even if the world, even, calm, even if the world were hell and you were the dark lord who destroys heaven, I will still follow you. Chase her. Do I have to? Okay, whatever. It's uh, only about 10 minutes since she escaped. Blah, 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 blah. An order for shooting has been issued for the military headquarters. Here, take this. Uh, no, nah, it's unnecessary. Uh, Colonel, that is not an option. This is nothing but a metaphor. Do you understand? The world is is a reality model to extreme limits. Killing someone isn't about the bullet. It's your will. It's not about possessions, weapons, or strengths. Because if you decide to kill, can you understand that? But what if I kill her and I'm considered the murderer and she's innocent? Well, what if an innocent person escaped, you know? We gotta think of it that way. What if I got a gun and I killed her and she was innocent? Then I go to jail. We gotta trust you, she's innocent, bro. When you align the vector of your heart to Pacific coordinates, I will always be there to witness it. Please believe. Please take care. May your adventure adventure be incredibly enjoyable. Come on, bro, listen to your heart. Is she innocent? Yeah, she's innocent. Nobody would do such a thing, you know? Nobody like her would do such a thing, you know? Hello, Colonel. We meet again. Are you in such a hurry? I don't know who the fuck this is. I'm looking for a woman. Ah, uh, yes, I saw her. She looked frantic, running desperately somewhere. Colonel, if it's alright, may I ask you something? I'm in a, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Same. I'm in a hurry too. <coughs> Yo, if I'm in a hurry, I'm speedrunning this. That lonely bastard. 
He's so peaceful, blah 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 blah. No one cares. We're just doing it for the plot line, like who gives a fuck? I'm the observer, I'm just watching you. Okay, who cares bro? What the fuck? It's all just a facade until the questions come into play. Uh indeed I shouldn't be here. Where is it? Like bro, you don't there's no need to chase her, man. Like she's gone. Who cares? Let her sleep, bro. There's no need to chase. What the fuck? What about the game crash? Yo? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this game's fucking with me, bro. What the hell? Why'd it do that? What the hell? Why'd it do that? Loser? I'm not a loser. What the fuck? Oh, maybe when I said I shouldn't be here. Oh, let's see what he said, actually. Never, never open your eyes ever again. Let her sleep. Finish all this, please. This is a request to you. This person shouldn't be here in the first place. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, that. Oh, that's why it shut down. Okay. Okay. At least we know. At least we know. Bro, it's better. It's better to just skip everything than spend like three hours listening to like useless dialogue. Let's be honest. Okay. At least we know. Like I did this with Doki Doki in Doki Doki Literature Club. I literally got to the point and went to like the best plot line ever. Like, there's no point of like listening to them talk because it's fucking useless. Like I'm not. I'm, I don't want. I don't care about the yapping. She went to the sea. She might be planning to die alone. Okay, so now we're- Okay, let's just continue now. Farewell. I mean, I like games that break the fourth wall, you know? When they do shit like that, they just close the game. Like, they just randomly jump scare you. Like, the other uh, girl- the, the anime girl talked about, uh, YouTubers or some shit. Like, damn. On our days off, I want to make you pancakes. I'm gonna go fuck. Oh my god, it's like me side. You know me side. I want to play me side when that comes out. I'm not gonna... I think this is her, but like... I don't know why it goes to black and then I just see like this text. It'd be fine if we're here the hermit crabs. And like, bro, see? Too much yapping. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't give a fuck. Just get to the jump scare flashy images and ask like important interrogation questions. Like, I don't give a fuck about no... Starfield cyberpunk looking ass like questions like and this shit too like I don't care about the afterlife but that was a shit why are you in such a remote place like I don't care like I don't care about this character we just love the world what did the creator of the world wish for shut up like no one cares man like this 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 part I don't give a fuck about like this is like some stupid like Philosophical bullshit that no one gives a fuck about. Alright, of course I'm looking for Yeah, I don't care about what you, you're saying. Uh, any other suggestion? No, no, thank you. Like, I don't care about who this guy is. Instead of listening to Old Man's Tales, there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm going. Goodbye. Fucking retard. He literally said that. He admitted to what I was want to, I wanted to do anyways. Hey, don't you have better things to do than listen to old man tales? Yes, that's why I skipped the whole thing. Stupid, man. So stupid. Okay, now, okay, what's gonna happen? This is just a hypothetical scenario. Okay, then I'm skipping the whole thing. Holy shit, shut up. This is just a hypothetical, right? Game's fucking ner nerdy emoji gun, bro. Holy fuck. At the very least, someone died was just mad. Like, see, this, this is what I mean. I, I played enough of this game to know that they just fucking, like, yap about the dumbest things ever. Holy shit, yo. Shut up. Like, bro, honestly, it's not even that crazy. Like, who is- not this character again, who is that? You, this guy again? Oh my god. I'm ready my king such a quiet night. I don't care. Are you the rabbit? What are you? You're not worth introducing? Okay, so I don't care about what you're saying. <laughs> no. What you desire, what the world desires, have you found the answer? Yes, I want to be happy. 
That's what the girl said in the beginning. I just her her wish is just to be happy. Real. What should I do next? Let's settle this. To the end of the story, yup. Let's get straight to the point. I don't give a fuck about finding her, but I didn't even care about her in the first place. And then the game crashes. Oh. Hey, hey me. I love you. I love you more than anyone in this world. I need you. I can't do anything without you. I want to be walked by your side forever. In the morning, I want to be the first to meet your eyes. Ew, what the fuck? At night, I want to be the last to say goodnight. That's it. If I can just run forever. I... Okay. So, say, so, come with me. I need you. No, mom isn't such a, such a bad person. So, just because I've never hugged... I've never been hugged just because my name hasn't been called for years. But she's family. Grandpa asked me to be taken care of. No, mom, she's smart. She went to a good university unlike me. So she wouldn't get scammed. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut up! Hospital. I'm trying to find our future. Because, because if things stay the way they are now, our baby, how are we going to raise her? Do we have that kind of money? If she grew up, grew up to be stupid like me, it would be so sad, facts. No, then I'm going. Don't look at me like that. I haven't changed. Just like when we met. Don't look at me like I'm a monster. Don't look at me like I'm in, I'm not a human anymore. Yo, Monka. Oh shit, jump scare? I'm scared. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck. Yo, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, why, why, why? No, no, I never meant to. Th that, he didn't know. I didn't think. Why, 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 why? Hurry now, someone come quickly. No, 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 it's my fault, it's my fault, it's my fault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What should I do? What can I do? I'll do anything. Please help him. I'll do anything. Please use my heart if you need to. What? Why are you putting him in there? Stop it. No, this is all I have left. I know he's not moving anymore. It doesn't matter. Stop it. Stop it. Please don't burn him. I'll take his place so special. Please, no. I'm sorry. I know it's my fault. It's all because of me. Don't turn him into ashes. Why? I don't want this. I'm sorry for being stupid, for being useless. I'm sorry. You gave me lots of things, but I couldn't give anything to you. I'm sorry. If only, if only I wasn't here. I'm sorry for being born. I'm sorry. Wow. That was interesting. Why am I still alive? See, we got to the good point. Now what? <clears throat> Paradise. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. You came. Hey, look at the beautiful stars in the sky. Isn't it weird? This is my world. Why is the sky so beautiful? Even though I am so ugly, that fake sky is terribly beautiful. I, I I was gonna come home to you about three days early. I went back to my parents' house. I was already at my limit in my ways. Oh, waffling again after all that shit, huh? I want to say sorry. I want to say goodnight to you again like I always did. But you, when I got home, you, all I have left is hate. Oh shit. I want to turn into a gruesome bloody mass. I want to peel off skin and tear it apart. I want to smash bones to pieces with the hammer. Oh shit, yo. What the fuck? I, I. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fuck, because of you? Because of me? No, ha, I'm so sorry, I can't take all this. Like, my heart is about to shatter to pieces like Jenga. I hate it. Being me, existing as me anymore. It's no, I can't bear it. If only there was a time machine. If I could time travel to the moment I was born, I would throw myself off the window. What the fuck? <laughs> Turn off the PC. Ah, the people are about to invade the world. This is the this is this place is what I wish for. We're we were granted our wishes by that filthy bone rabbit. A twisted world woven with the ugliest wish deep in our hearts. We were trapped in here. I do not want this. I just wanted you. I just wanted to spend time with you, like we used to, just like before, like the anime we used to watch on Sunday evenings. The same boring days. If I could just spend time with you, that would have been more than enough for me. But I, because I knew my ugliness, because I couldn't believe 
that I was a wonderful being who deserved a kind daily life. I'm not human anymore. I can't return to being a human. I'm not wise enough to earnestly wish for my own happiness from the bottom of my heart. I'm dumb. I'm miserable. I'm helpless. <clears throat> That's why I made a world. Oh, so she thinks she created this world, huh? And what end? What did you come here for? Do as you please. You understand your role, right? Did you bring the gun? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what's gonna happen? Yo. Oh shit. And make sure to save too. You you've always been clumsy. Ah oh, wait, no, do we turn there's there's autosave, there's autosave. Oh fuck, yo. Hmm, are you no <laughs> yo no yo what the fuck? Yo, I don't wanna continue. <laughs> I don't want to continue. There's autosave. There's autosave. Okay, good. Then, let's bring the story to an end. Even it's you who decides the fate of this world. It has to be you. That's why this world is... Who am I? Who are you? What is this world? Yo, guys, you got to take in this realization, bro. <clears throat> who, are, who am I? Who are you? What is this world? Shall we decide that now? Oh, fuck. GG. Now, it's judgment time. Boom! Oh. Alright, is it finally over? This is getting to meta? <laughs> the Rickroll? Ain't no strangers to love. Ain't no Oh! What's this? Judgment time. Oh shit. <clears throat> What's my fate, bro? Oh shit, we get to find out. What the hell? Okay, okay, I want you to decide the definition of the world, the role of the story. I want you to imagine. Who am I? Who are you? It's talking to us, all right? We're us right now. <clears throat> I can no longer determine universal values. So it's you, only you can define us. You've asked me many questions, haven't you? What kind of human am I in your eyes? What do you see in this world? There's no right answer. I don't like stuff like that. Sorry for dragging you into our in our problem. Eh, no problem, I skipped the entire dialogue. I don't believe in God, but surely you must be too busy to spare a thought for, for small fry like this. But you, on the other hand, have listened to our stories. So, no, I haven't. I literally, I literally broke the game. I don't give a fuck. I skipped everything. I don't give a shit. There's only one more fitting. There's no more fitting to bring about the end of the world than you. I mean, this game just came out, so... That's what makes it interesting. Those who have committed sins must be judged. <gasps> <clears throat> oh shit, yeah. I mean, it's at least a different game, you know? Like, it's disturbing, but, you know, it's unique. Those who have committed sins must be judged. But that doesn't mean they will be forgiven. We can only wander endlessly in a maze with no exit, struggling, struggling futilely. Still, I believe that the end will come. It's you who will bring about my demise. Oh shit. You know you know what sold me with this game? The art. The art's really nice. You know, aside from all like the fucked up shit. <clears throat> the art is really cool. Oh. I think she was walking to the water and I shot her. Is it over? Oh fuck. Who am I? <gasps> A bride, a bride who wants to find happiness, a tragic, oh fuck. <clears throat> the creator of the world, a tragic serial killer. Okay, I'm gonna answer with chess. Uh, Okozi Isana as a girl wanted a happy ending. She just wanted to be happy. Yeah, that was the whole point. Do you define it? Yes. Her, her wish in the beginning was to be happy. And now who am I? The judge, a lover who revived, the creator of the world. <clears throat> you are the creator of the world. Granted a wish by someone, this world was born. This is a world of loneliness that does not tolerate the existence of others. Do you define it? Yes.
Yeah, I got it. I'm your beloved, and you're the creator of the world. Okay, let's do that then. It's been a while. Did you get a haircut? Lost some weight? Wearing weird clothes? How have you been since then? Had any fun? What's it like in the afterlife? <clears throat> did you did you watch over me? What's eternity like? Lonely? Sad? Painful? Or maybe... I think I've talked about this before. I'm scared. The shape of the world is scary. Because you see, as a creature, I'm just... I'm just a mass of trillions of cells. And in a few days, I'll be replaced by a completely different arrangement of cells. The feeling of being myself is nothing more than a combination of neutral neural signals. The me of today and the me of last year are completely different me's, you know? Yet only memories are continuous. It's as if matter is as if matter is meaningless. We perceive the world through the workings of our nerves. If it were just matter, we wouldn't be able to feel anything. So I I feel like there's another me besides me. A me who has lost their mind, a me who is just a form. That me dies inter intermittently. The me who just keeps getting updated now, just unaware of uh, uh, just unaware of any of that. It's a very personal sensation, difficult for anyone else to understand besides me. When night falls and I look into the darkness, the abandoned me keeps watching my shadow. <clears throat> is that me, I wonder, or is it the world? Perhaps this sensation or phenomenon is much more meaningful than we think. I mean, something to think about. See, these, these are the important ones. Like, these are the important dialogues. But truthfully, I know. Once you die, it's over. There's nothing. There's no no sense of time, no feeling the no feeling the breeze. We remain bereft of sensation for billions, trillions, quadrillions of years, because even if I die, the world won't end. After trillions of years pass, even after the universe dies, I wonder what happens after that. Will it all would it will it all become nothingness? But it feels a bit different somehow. It's not someone else's concern. As long as if we are bound by the law of conservation of mass, it's a phenomenon that will eventually happen to all existence, but perhaps only the arrangement of neurons as one of the abandoned entities. <clears throat> I love you. I love you. I love you so much. So, can I have that? I'm satisfied. I didn't know what to say when I saw you. I thought maybe I would apologize or scream, you know, haha, ha, I, I want that punishment. It's wrong for people that did something bad not to suffer, right? But I won't make you bear that burden. And uh, I won't even make you pull that curtain, pull the curtain rope. You only believe in what you see, huh? Like stars orbiting the universe. Ah, uh, that's kind of hopeful, isn't it? Hey, can I borrow it? You don't need it anymore, right? Yeah, thanks. Goodbye, world universe. To all the people I love, may you always remain beautiful. The game shut off by itself. <laughs> nah, the game shut off by itself. Oh shit. The good thing there's an autosave, right? <laughs> oh god. How how do we make this into like the credits, man? Holy shit. God damn. No, she said good thing there's autosave, right? <sighs> Alright, okay, we have to change it. We have to get to the we have to get to the credits. Uh No, but the thing is that that's my answer. That's my answer. I, I can't change it. That's what that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's this is basically the, okay, that was the end of the game, I guess. I, I can't change it. You can't alter the ending. That, that's the real ending. You can't you can't I chose what I wanted and that that's literally what it was. Well, that was, uh... <clears throat> Honestly, that was kind of shit. That was a shit ending. That was a shit ending, bro. The fuck? Mostly, a lot of people say mostly positive. Actually, let's look at the reviews. What do people say about this game? This game's kind of mid. I'll be honest, it's mid. It's a mid game. 
Let's look at the reviews. Oh, what the fuck? Yo. The ending PC dies. I mean, I'll still upload it to YouTube. Because it's content. The the game crashed twice. But it uh they did it on purpose. Anywho, whatever. <clears throat> game was mid. We shall mourn our lost companion. <laughs> Bro, she was, she was a serial killer anyways. Like, what the fuck? Alright, let's look at the reviews. <clears throat> what do people say about this game? Uh, yeah, it was called It Was a Human. This was called. But people say, don't waste your... It's not... It wasn't bad. Like, they're, they're... I like the art. Like, what got me was the art. The art speed, art speed run's boring. I didn't like it. It's, it's just like a one-time thing. Like, I like the art, you know? The art's cool. Absolutely fell in love with the writing, the dialogue. Great game makes you truly feel something. It was yeah, it was the experience, bro. For five bucks, not bad. The price is, is worth it. Truly one of the most interesting games. Bottom lines that I recommend with what, what? It's not what truly what stays in the tin. The story and the writing is good. Yeah, it's good, but like the thing is too much waffling. Like there's no, there's nothing crazy about like you know most of the dialogue. There's only maybe <clears throat> like fifth. 20% good dialogue, everything else is just waffling. That's why I skipped everything. There's no point of like, wa if, if, I re if I read the entire dialogue of that game, I'd be playing that game for fucking three hours rather than like an hour. 